everybody, the Lawn Gnome is here. Maybe it means something. I doubt it. talking about music. It's been a while, and this is actually the first music review on Up From the Underground in 2017. And if you are new to my channel, first and foremost, welcome. It's a pleasure to have you here. I hope you enjoy the content. And when it comes to reviewing music, I always like to do it in pairs. And today, once again, I have two picks for you, and they are revolving around the topic of movie soundtracks. Now, a movie soundtrack to me is a real hit or miss. It's a 50-50 chance of being something that I will want to listen to multiple times, etc, etc. And this time around, I've got two really good ones. Unfortunately, I only have one physical copy, and I'll explain to you why. The first one I'm going to talk about is the soundtrack for Patriot's Day. Now, if you've seen my review for Patriot's Day, you know how much I love that movie. But one of the biggest surprises that I got from that movie was the fact that Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross, better known as their stage name, Nine Inch Nails, put together the soundtrack for this incredible patriotic film. So, I was loving the soundtrack while I was watching this movie, but when I found out that it was them, I was just floored. Ever since these two gentlemen teamed up and started making film soundtracks with The Social Network, which ended up being an Academy Award winner, I have just been looking at these as another Nine Inch Nails album. The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo and Gone Girl soundtracks are still very good, but not as great as The Social Network, but Patriot's Day is very much up there with The Social Network. It is one of those where... The songs are constantly shifting in pace and shifting in sound because that was what the movie was like. It was a movie that was constantly shifting its moods and shifting its pace. Sometimes it was very slow. Sometimes it was very heartbreaking and emotional. And sometimes it was just fast-paced and intense. And you hear that with every single track in this film. And of course, it goes in the order of the film, so you will very much understand those scenes in the movie when you do, in fact, listen to the soundtrack. The only downside is the fact that this does not have a physical copy. You can only stream it or download it. And I don't like that. I am someone who is a very big supporter of physical media because I don't trust the cloud. If the cloud crashes, I guarantee you these companies are not going to be just handing over millions and millions of people their video or music libraries because it's going to cost them all so much money and they're all going to go bankrupt. You're going to have to pay for those again. So you're better off getting yourself some physical media or at least remembering to back up all of your stuff on hard drives. But this was definitely worth listening to. It's a great soundtrack. It is one of Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross's best composings now. And I'm just hoping that there will be a physical copy because I would very much like to add it to my entire CD collection. But let's talk about the physical copy that I actually have. And would you not be surprised if I held this one up? Of course you wouldn't. It's the soundtrack to La La Land, which is composed by Justin Hurwitz. La La Land was a dream of a film. It's right up there with some of the great Hollywood musicals of all time, like Singing in the Rain. And this soundtrack matches the movie altogether. It's got some amazing songs with some scores that are just right out of classic vintage Hollywood. It's so hard to figure out what are the best songs on this album. And I will say, though, that I'm not the biggest fan of City of Stars. I know that it's an Academy Award winning song, but to me, there are other songs in this soundtrack that are much better, like Another Day of Sun. Everybody loves that song. Someone in a Crowd, My Personal Favorite Lovely Night. And of course, everybody balls like little babies when they listen to Audition, but Everyone's going to have their own preference. Everyone's going to have a favorite on this soundtrack. But this is a soundtrack that is so worth listening to multiple times over. The music is just so catchy. It makes you feel good. It makes you stamp your feet. And when you finish that soundtrack, you just want to turn it on again and listen to it straight through every single time, again and again and again. If you love La La Land, why have you not picked up the soundtrack or at least downloaded or streamed the soundtrack? Because this is a perfect counterpart to its film. And that will also go for the other pick of the day because they are both two very strong soundtracks that complement their films perfectly. I would say listen to them, especially if you love the films. You'll love these soundtracks. And that's all that I've got to share with you guys today. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys and talking about music very soon. It's been a little slow so far this year, so I'm not really sure when I will have a music review next. But in the meantime, please put your comments in the box below, and I will see you in the next one. 
Hey, thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. If you're new here and want to see more of what my channel has to offer, please click on the link to my last video or hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all of my uploads. Content of all sorts is posted here quite often, so trust me, you do not want to fall behind. I will see you in the comments, and actions speak louder than words.